high school students, you guys, across America, um, they are jumping up and down for this one. And, at, and as Andrew just said, um, which is the SAT, um, which was once viewed as a critical step to get into college. Um, but get this, it's going to be short, you guys, and um, administrated online. So this is a major, this is very major, you guys, and they are actually saying, because this is all due to a major shift in the format that was brought on by the pandemic um, ever since the pandemic started in 2020. So the paper test, which is currently, it takes about three hours to complete. Well, the shorter version is just going to be two hours. They just took one hour off. And yeah, and it will be online um, starting in 2023 um, internationally and then in 2024 um, for the U.S. So I want to ask Andrew this. Um, what do you what 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 do you think of this? Um, the test, the SAT is going to be shorter now. Have have you ever taken the SAT before? And how um, was it for you? Do, and, and do you think this will be a good, th this will be good for our high school students? Um, let it be shorter and also online instead of paper tests. Good. So first and foremost, I took in the, uh, the ACT, not the SAT. Um, so I, you know, that first part of the question, I don't really know how to answer that question because I took the ACT. Um, but I, but the, now that the test is going to be online, I think that's a great idea. And the reason why I'm saying that is because there is a, an online tutoring program called Khan Academy where it lets you get prepared to to take the SATs. Um, they have all the questions that you need to know before you take your SATs. So I think that's a great idea it versus on paper. You know, imagine sitting in a classroom with all your classmates. You're sitting in that classroom for the next three to four hours taking the SAT. Yes, that that is going to take a paralyzed class time. And by them doing it online and it's going to be shorter, I think now, now I think that's going to be, uh, now it's going to be great. Now, the only con that I see is there could be some network issues. There could be some password issues. There could be some internet issues as well. So there's a lot of pros and a, a very few cons in this. Um, like I said, the problems could have, like I said, again, login issues, their codes is not working. Uh, it's not on there when it's supposed to be. You are, you're taking the wrong test. Like you could be taking, uh, like you're supposed to take the ACT, but instead you're taking the ACT. Like there's a whole lot of things that can go wrong while administering the test online versus having a teacher passing out paper and pencils or, uh, well, besides paper, but scratch paper and, and stuff like that. So I, that's, that's what I think, you know, yeah. pros and cons of this online SATs. Yeah, right, right. And then with me, here, 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 here's the bigger issue here. I, don't get me wrong, I do like this now. I don't, because I never took in no AC, I mean, SAT, I only took the ACT, so I don't know how that test works, but I think, yes, this will be great for our students, and let it be shorter um, for two hours. That's good. But my only issue is, well, well, I know, you know, we're all, you know, dumping all the way the papers, and we're doing it digitally now, doing technology, which I get that. But now, to me, since they are moving it online, I could see many students. There's going to be some cheating involved with this because they are going to be looking if you are taking the test and you're not taking it and you're on another site trying to cheat. 
So I don't know how they they are going to look into that because you because you are going to have some of those students who are going to cheat, and they would know because they are looking at what you're doing. So I I, I just wonder how how is that going to work out? How is that going to work out? But we'll see we'll see once it comes in 2024. So we'll just wait to see. Hey. In 20. Go ahead. Yeah, I, and I agree with that, with that, with that cheating as well. Because you know, even with even on paper too, even on paper too, you know, there are some students that are trying to cheat too with the paper copy as well. So that that also can be a problem as well while administrating online is that cheating as well. So yeah, I totally agree. Again, there's some pros and there's some pro cons in that. That in that SAT digital 